guys, look who we have here. Mr. Daily Driven. Video is in the house, guys. Oh, okay, so, so before we start this video, it's gonna be a bit different, yeah. Like, yeah, we just met up now, unplanned. Yeah. unplanned Someone just phoned me now, just. Definitely. We're in the same area, yeah. so we definitely have to meet up with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good to be on the channel. So, Finally we're kind of doing you. a collab type of thing, no? Yeah, oh, that's okay. correct, that's correct. Yes, yeah, the owner of this GTI we're doing today. And yeah, I'm quite excited. But before we carry on, please do subscribe to Daily Driven SA. They're yeah. growing quite big, yo. This past few months, I would say that it was just featured in their cars, no? Yes. <laughs> and most of them were throttles, <laughs> as the people knows. But yeah, today we finally have another boosted car, which is a Polo GTI 9 in 3, no? Right? 9 in 3, 1.8 GTI. 1.8 GTI, yeah. So I'm very excited. The last turbo car we done was an Audi A3, which was a few months back. So we yeah, are finding some boost again. So yeah, we have a idea and he's brought his Polo GTI. Oh, so, yeah, tell us how long you have the car. Um, I have the car about two years now. Um, the car is basically a weekend drive. I drive it basically on the weekends. Yeah. That's the only time I get to drive it. Um, so far, since I have it, I've enjoyed it. Every moment. <laughs> Every moment. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> drive off the <that> dumbbell. <laughs> <laughs> so two years you say that? Two years. Uh, uh, January is actually going to be two years. No? The day the car. And in that two years, um, like performance wise, um, obviously the car is not stopped. So just take us briefly through that maybe. Which we'll get into later, we'll show them in depth. But like just take us briefly. Uh, like one Look, time. When I bought the car, the car was stopped. I had the dumb valve on the car. Yeah. Um, I did stage one software pops and bangs um, by a guy named Imran Daniels. Um, was this in this year now? It was about three months back I did it. Um, it's a close friend of mine that did software by him. He started his own software platform and I decided to try him out. And yeah. I got better expectations. Yeah, but what I'm planning on doing, I want to um, do a full 
opbouwen voor mm. ons Het is louder hier. Sê is de D-Cat? Uh, met is D-Cat, yes. Mm. Alles liever niet hoe softer je hebt de D-Cat. Maar stel de stak exhaust. Stak exhaust, yes. Stak exhaust, yes. Weet de poes is like het speak na. Ja. Zijn yeah. yeah. dat is met Jusel trouw. Ik weet niet dat ik het oor uit was. Het is de peak power of the car na. Yes. in depth what has been done so you can just take us through maybe what has been done on the motor itself okay so basically i just did stage one software pops and bang from the motor on the ECU basically um, there's induction on the car dumbbell um, exhaust um, stock exhaust just um, with a bigger box upgraded boost base maybe um, no upgrade the push cars, but uh, it is in the future. No? Um, I'm planning to do induction also. Um, to the front. The front is okay. a bigger induction. But, uh, and then I'm also planning to do a bigger intercooler. Yeah. Still so standard also. intercooler. Still standard, yes. It's a small intercooler. As further on, no um, like internal work on the motor, nothing. No internal motor. No? At the moment. <laughs> um, in terms of, you see the, the power, we don't know what power is the car making at the moment. Okay, I want to put on the time. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that's pushing out yeah. at the moment. Other than that, um, coming back to the, the coil packs, the plan of maybe upgrading that. I want to put in all that coil packs. Huh? I have a set. Um, I'm planning to maybe put it in. I'm just doubting that stuff. <laughs> It's quite a common thing they, they do on the... common thing the, everyone does, yes. Yeah, uh, the GTIs, yeah. But I'm trying to keep the car as standard as possible. I mm. don't want to do much upgrades on the car. Mm. You know, if you do Other more, than the ECU more and upgrades the... you do, uh, <laughs> keep the car back. Yeah. <laughs> True, no? So that's that for the motor, no? Nothing else? Nothing no else. No future plans, that. nothing. Uh, just the intercooler. Mm. And then maybe a full power flow exhaust. 
Um, obviously the town pipe. Yeah. And exterior wise? Exterior wise. Turns on the room. Uh, my rooms are for sale or for swap uh, for a set of canvas. Huh? Because I'm looking to go um, the original GTI room yeah. on the car. So what room is the set of moment? This is currently the original Subaru room. Um, from the... Don't even see in the inside of the, the Forester? Um, I'm actually not sure what okay. that Subaru can go. But... Uh, it's quite nice, no? Compliments the color also the car. Big. Um, and I'm just going to spray my calipers over again. Yeah. Um, that's about... So on, nothing, nothing else has been done, no? Exterior-wise. Exterior-wise, nothing. Maybe a um, an extended wing. But yeah. That's about it. But you must take him to the front here. Yeah. Forgot to show them the lights of the corner. This is the most from the, the new polo. Yeah, this, this is the latest polo Vivo lights. So it's a straight foot. Straight foot, yes. Yeah. It's mad, no? Uh, I took out the GTI lights. It gives a fresh look. Very clean. Of an accident polo. In terms of the lip, this is a Cooper lip, no? This is a Cooper lip, yes. Okay. Uh, it's a I like look, the look of it. It's a very subtle look, no? Yes. The other, the other lip accounts, yo, it stands too much out, man. Mm, and it's uh, long. It's too long as well, so I like the look of the Cooper lip. And in terms of like, um, suspension, coil lovers in here. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm planning to go with Sayo in. What is in here at the moment? What coil over? The sleeves in here at the moment. Oh, sleeve overs. Okay. Uh, because I only put it in because I wasn't sure you wanted to keep the car. Yeah. <laughs> but by the looks of it, I'm going to keep the car another two more years. I'm well, actually surprised how the sleeve overs drive. It's not nice bad, actually. no? Um, and that's not the lowest. Worse, no? It's not the lowest. It's just the lowest. The front is the lowest, the back is the lowest. Much lower. Yeah, well, that sleeve over is. I've seen a few videos also, yeah. You don't know what to expect on the lows you on there. You never know what to expect. <laughs> I think it depends on your shop. I'm looking for more lows in front of Yeah. Uh, well, I think we love it's not best. It's a bit high yeah, in front mm. of me. I wonder if there's a finger space at yeah. the bottom of the lock. But I think the shock is also important in yeah, the sleeve over. The shock is also important. The shortest shock. But yeah, like you said, coil is in the pipeline, no? Coil is in the oh, pipeline. So nothing else, no? Interior-wise, still, Interior still um, stock. Still stock. Mm. Uh, I maybe want to put in a push gates. Uh, Just to show maybe uh, the yes. readings. I nothing else. I put in a double turn radio. Uh, oh, they don't come out with a double turn? No, it comes out with a standard okay. radio. But these cars are quite comfortable inside, no? Yo, um, especially very comfortable. Seats that's in the car yeah. itself. Quite comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable. I yeah, like the, the feel of this wheel the as seat. Well, with the red stitching in it, mm. and in the seat belt as well, red stitching. And the spaces as well, no? Uh, it's not that small inside. Look, if I have my child mm. in the car, it's not spaces with the pram. The <laughs> <laughs> only thing you need is, a, is the boot space, obviously, but yeah. it's not much. You put it like you said here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, so really hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, another boosted car on the channel. And yeah, so I'm going to say thank you so much for the car. Now, petrol is dear. You can come on the channel and try the cars. And yeah, it's a lot of petrol. The people are watching from other countries. The people from other countries. Yo, we're suffering your petrol prices. So yeah, it's almost 20 rand. No way. But yeah, other than that, my bro, I really enjoyed the time. And yeah, your time as well. Like taking out to be there and stuff. Yeah. Giving me the opportunity to drive the car also. So yeah, it's liquor. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah.